Okay, so here is my complete junk power hammer, <laughs> made from scraps. The frame is 100 by 100 by 4 mil box section, maybe 5. The motor is from a drill press with a 4 speed pulley on it. It runs to a custom made uh, pulley from a piece of steel turned up in lathe. The shaft is from a uh, mobility scooter. Um, the bearings are from a Ford Falcon uh, belt tensioner pulley. Uh, the housings are just made out of scrap. Some scrap plate to mount everything to. The crank was made from solid chunk of steel. I think it was a manhole cover or something similar. Um, there's a tow bar tongue. This bit just here, um, cut up forward tow bar um, with a, I think it was just a random large bolt used as an axle. Um, the holes here are slots offset in the, just in the sandwich in between there, it's hard to see. Is a faceplate from a from my wood turning lathe. Never used it, didn't need it. Works great for this. So everything rotates around on that. The offset can be changed by moving the bolts from left to right. That whole plate slides back and forth to change the stroke length. Uh, we've got, I think that pin was made from an axle. Uh, random pieces of steel plate, uh, box section, um, two, uh, uh, two square tubes that had a nice snug fit. The, what you can't see very well inside there is a, inside that, uh, chunks from a, another tow bar that makes the anvil solid. Uh, that's just a friction fit. Tap that with the hammer and fall out. Uh, this is a hammer head from a hand, normal hand planishing hammer. Uh, sandwiched up some steel inside there so that it's now a <coughs> It's now a square die holder. There we go. Laid up steel, it's about 15mm square inside there. Uh, the tool holder is removable. Lockable. And everything falls over. And adjustable. That is a tow bar, as you can see in there, with the neck cut off and plates put on instead, bracing plates used. Uh, adjustment slot so I can move the whole stock forwards and backwards. Uh, three, I think they're coach head bolts from a uh, old bumper. Uh, Leftover roll cage tube just sitting here. It acts as a, a prop to keep the, the vibration under control at the moment because the frame's not 100% finished yet. A friend donated a uh, foot switch for me. Um, it's still running some ugly wiring from the original. Um, 
drill press motor. But if I stand on the pedal, we turn it on first. Stand on the pedal. running a very small stroke at the moment. Um, it's got, I've made a, another die as well. This one accepts a toe ball. There's a toe ball nut inside there. And that accepts this, which is a, which used to be a toe ball, uh, which is now machined down. That thread's inside there and accepts um, air planishing dies, uh, which are these. Okay. So that swaps into there. I can use one or the other whenever I want. Just slide that back, drop it in, change it over. Change the pressure however you want. That's the adjustment underneath there, change the pressure. And that's how it all came together.